Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate when and how to use absolute, relative, and mixed cell references in an Excel formula. Over here we want to calculate the net price. In cell D4 I have the formula. It says in this row, row 4, go over and take the quantity, multiply it by the price, and then to take the discount, what we are going to do is take the inverse of 10%. In other words, we're going to pay 90% of the calculation. We include that inside parentheses, so it will calculate or multiply by 90%, the inverse of the discount. Now notice that when I copied the cell or the formula down to row 5, the references are all relative. They refer to cells in the same row, in row 5. Now everyone is getting the same discount, 10%. Let me show you how we can edit this formula and have it refer to an absolute cell reference, the reference up here in cell F2. So let's come down here and what we want to do is we want to change this to be column F row 2. But we don't want to have a relative reference. As we copy this down, the left side of the formula will remain relative, but we always want the right side of the formula, the side included inside parentheses, to refer to this absolute cell reference. The easiest way to do that is to use the keyboard shortcut F4. F4 applies an absolute cell reference. It puts a dollar in front of the column, column F, a dollar sign in front of row 2. So now when I copy this down to the next cell, you'll see that the left side of the formula is referring to cells in the same row, but the right side is always referring to that absolute cell reference, F2. All right, now let's come over here and take a, a look at another way to do a calculation. We want in cell B4 to multiply the quantity by the price. Now let me leave the discount off for a moment. Let me make this a, a little cleaner. So notice what will happen if I write the first part of the formula to say, take the quantity, multiply it by the price. Well, that's fine. We get the price of the calculation right there. But notice that when I copy this down into cell B5, what I'm getting is a reference to uh, the quantity in row 5, but it's not picking up the correct price. It's multiplying it by the formula in the cell above it. So this calls for a mixed reference. What I want to have over here is I want to always refer to the column A, and I always want to refer to row 3. So on the left side of the formula, what I want to do is make this a mixed cell reference. I want to anchor column A by putting a dollar sign in front of column A. And for the price, I always want it to refer to the value in row 3. So I'll put a dollar sign in front of B3. So now when I copy this down, Notice that what I'm getting is I'm getting my quantity in column A and my price is in row 3. We really see this when we copy this over. So now we are referring to the quantity in column A and you can see that it's anchored with the dollar sign and it's grabbing the price from row 3. So here we have a mixed formula. All right, now let's come back and we'll add in the absolute formula over here to be able to take the discount. So you recall from earlier in the lesson, what I want to do is I want to multiply this by the inverse of the discount. So 1 minus and refer to this cell, but make sure that we make that an absolute cell reference. F4 supplies the dollar sign in front of the column, the dollar sign in front of the row, and now we can copy this down, we can copy it all the way down, and we can copy it all the way across, and we will always get the correct amount. So regardless of the cell that we go into, when we click, we see that we are grabbing the quantity in this row from column A, and we're grabbing the price in this column from row 3, taking the inverse of the discount, which is an absolute cell reference over here in K2. So there you've learned how and when to use absolute, relative, and mixed cell references in formulas. 
This is one of the tips that I share along with 49 others in my 50 best tips for Excel. And I'll see you in the next lesson.